Hello, my lovely students. This is Mrs. Winstead, and these are notes for physics class or AP physics um, having to do with representations of motion. So our notes are all focused around a single essential question, and that is how do we model the motion of objects? You'll see me come back to that question pretty often. There are a few different models we can use to show the motion of objects. And they are narrative models, mathematical models, and graphical models. So we're going to start with the narrative models. So narrative models means that we're using words to describe motion. Um, and so that is when we start to use some of the vocabulary or keywords to describe motion. For example, if you say that something's going fast or slow, you're describing motion using words. So here's some of the more specialized vocabulary having to do with motion. We'll start with displacement. Displacement is basically how far an object moves from wherever it started. So if you think of like the starting line of a race, um, how far you move from that starting line is your displacement. This does have direction. If you were to, you know, fall backward from the starting line, you would have a negative displacement. You are not moving forward in the race. Um, so this has a positive or negative direction, and that's important for displacement. Distance is how far an object moves overall, so not relative to a starting point. So therefore, there's no need for direction. This is always positive. I like to think of this as the odometer in your car. Uh, even if you run your car backward, those numbers are not coming off of that odometer. Uh, it's going to say however much the mileage is on the car. So that's kind of the difference there. These both describe how far an object moves. It's just that one of them is relative to a starting point and can therefore be positive or negative. Next, we come to velocity. So velocity is how fast or slow an object is moving, but like displacement, it has a direction. Velocity can either be in the positive or the negative direction. So just like displacement, the direction matters. Speed also describes how fast or slow an object is moving, but direction is irrelevant and it is always positive. So you can think of speed as how much distance you travel over time, whereas velocity is how much displacement you have over time. Um, so that's kind of the, the big difference between the two is again, one of these can be positive or negative, one cannot. Acceleration is any change in velocity, so any change in speed, direction, or both. So you've got three different options there. Um, acceleration can be positive or negative. There is no like positive only component for acceleration. Um, so it's kind of important to note that it can always be positive or negative. There's, there's no like other word for acceleration that's just positive. An important thing to consider with this is that we have things in the positive and the negative direction. Uh, as I stated before, displacement, velocity, acceleration are what we call vectors. And we'll get further into vectors as we go through the school year. Uh, vectors are actually a really important part of two- and three-dimensional motion, which we will get into two-dimensional motion this year. Uh, vectors means direction is important. Um, the opposite of a vector is a scalar. A scalar means that there is no direction like that's necessary, so it's always positive. So distance and speed are scalars. Time is a scalar. You can't have negative time. That's not, that's not how this works. So direction is important for anything that is a vector quantity. Um, so displacement, velocity, and acceleration. On a number line, right is considered positive direction, 
and left is considered the negative direction. So if you have an object moving relative to a number line, that would be what you would see. As it, as it moves more to the right, it's more positive. As it moves more to the left, it's negative. In terms of compass directions, north and east are positive, which actually makes sense because up is also considered positive. So up, north, right, east, they go together. South is negative. West is also negative. And that goes with the fact that down is considered a negative direction and left is considered a negative direction. So just to kind of establish that positive and negative. Um, so it's important to know those. So those are kind of like the big pieces in terms of the narrative puzzle. Um, so knowing distance, displacement, speed, velocity, acceleration, and then the importance of positive and negative and what directions indicate a positive or a negative. So hopefully that gives you some good words to describe the motion of objects and also to read the descriptions of motion and understand whether an object is moving in a positive direction or a negative direction or whether positive and negative even matter according to that situation. So take a look at that essential question in terms of how we describe motion and think of it in terms of narrative and what terms you might use. Good luck and have a great day.